All right, let us compare GitHub free versus pro. And I just want to warn you that the exam might ask you one of these things. So it becomes a little bit more important to remember the differences between them. Is it fair for an exam? Not really, but it's just how they made their exam. So I just want to point that out that you have to remember some factoidal information here. So we have GitHub free and GitHub pro. So let's go through the GitHub free features. You get GitHub community support, dependabot alerts, deployment protection rules for public repos, two-factor authentication enforcement, 500 megabytes of GitHub packages storage, 120 gig, uh, GitHub code spaces core hours per month, 15 uh, gigabytes of GitHub code spaces storage per month, GitHub action features such as 2000 minutes per month, deployment protection rules for public repos. I'm not sure why it's listed under there because that makes no sense, but that's where they put it. And so basically um, in GitHub Pro, you get everything you'd get in free with addition of GitHub support via email, 3000 GitHub actions per uh, minute per month. So an extra thousand, two gigabytes of giga GitHub, pa uh, GitHub packages storage, 180 GitHub code spaces core hours per month, 20 gigabytes of GitHub code spaces storage per month, advanced tools and insights in uh, private repos, you have required pull request reviewers, multiple pull request reviewers, protected branches, code owners, automated link references, GitHub pages, wikis, and repo insights graphs. If you don't know what all this stuff is right now, do not worry because we're covering basically all of it, like working with all these tools, and then you should come back and uh, review this again so you have it for your knowledge when you take the exam, okay? Ciao.